80% of your immune cells are in your gut. That's where your macro and micronutrients are absorbed. Your gut is your number one microbiome. But of new note and new interest, the gum microbiome. People who have gingivitis have a bacteria called gingivalis, which make a destructive enzyme called gingipans. 90% of people that have Alzheimer's have ginger pans. So gingivitis, your gum microbiome, which is causing dysbiosis, the unleveling of good bacteria, leads to a neurodegenerative disease. So it's the gut microbiome, the gum microbiome, the skin microbiome. Mitochondrial dysfunction, probably okay. the look behind the curtain, probably the reason for most of the neurodegenerative diseases because your number one mitochondrial organ arguably would be your brain. And yep. just a little aside, that in neurodegenerative disease, they all have origins in the gut. The gut communicates with the brain, bidirectional, and neurodegenerative diseases or mitochondrial dysfunction and autoimmune conditions as well. Some of the other quick hallmarks of aging, we talked about it before, is the loss of muscle mass sarcopenia. 1998, Tufts University did a study and found the first sign of aging is a loss of muscle mass. So if I were to say anything to anybody about a hallmark of aging, it would be without question, do some weight resistance. And lastly, kind of alluded to the word dysbiosis, the unleveling of good and bad bacteria. You need 85% or more good bacteria in your gut not to be dysbiotic. Dysbiotic is the black cloud in the room causing a lot of the deleterious effects that the gut can have because of dysbiosis.